What's up, humans? Welcome to a new Psicoactivo. Today I have Mr. Toby Martinez from Mark by the Sky joining us for a joint reporting of something that we both found really, really interesting. And welcome, Toby. How are you? First time on the show, but I got to tell the people that you're responsible for me being part of the KGRA family. So thank you, man. Welcome <laughs> to the show. I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. All right, um, man. Excited so, to be here. Your your show is very good and growing very quickly. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's all a joint effort, I think, because there's a lot of people in the background helping the show, and I I'm always grateful for them. Um, but it's funny because we've been like going back and forth with the hearings and all this politics in the U.S., and then we stumble upon cases like this one. Um, a Colombian man reached out to us. Uh, we're, I believe, the first English speakers that he reaches out to because he's already reached out to Spanish speaker uh, journalists and researchers uh, with this case. And I want to get your first reaction of the videos that he sent because he allowed us to share one today that we are going to share. But I want to get your reaction of what you thought when you saw what you saw. Um, the initial reaction was what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> it, it's some pretty bizarre stuff. And, you know, you're just like I am. We're, we're journalists, we're investigators. So we we look at the evidence. Um, obviously, I can't form a conclusion on what I'm seeing because I don't have the scientific knowledge or skills to. But just visually, based off what I'm seeing, it, it pretty, pretty wild stuff. Pretty yeah. wild. And if you hear the story behind it, and you begin to even just put a small little percentage of thought into what if this is true, uh, the implications could be pretty, pretty wild. So let's go through the details. This man is from Colombia. His name is Arcángel Montes Ortiz. He found a stone uh, about five years ago. Um, he found it at the city of Pereira. And he claims that this stone is an interstellar object that fell uh, near a river from where he lives. And he claims that these, this stone has interstellar life. And in some of the images we saw, we did see some movement. And I'm not an expert on microscopes at all. I'm a layman. But I know that you've had some experience using that type of a microscope. It's called an SEM microscope, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken. Yeah, scanning electron microscope, I believe, is the name of it. And while our use for it wasn't biological, there's it's already been shown out there that I went with Frank Kimbler, who is a geologist here in Roswell, and we had material we found at the Roswell, the 1947 crash site, what's called the debris field. Uh, metal we found there was tested using one of these microscopes. So I've seen one in person. I watched it be used, but when it gets down to like the technical nitty gritty, I'm, I'm the same as you layman all the yep. way. And as you guys know, my wife is a biologist, molecular biologist, and she uses this microscope almost daily. And when she saw the image, she was also puzzled, but she also had some really important technical questions that I am going to try and ask this man, Arcángel, uh, what he's trying to do is what I gathered from the little interactions that we've had. He's trying to get the case out to a broader audience, but he doesn't want for the stone to leave his country because he feels that this is a really important discovery for his country, Colombia, and obviously also for him. But he does strike me as a person who wants this for Colombia, too. So I found that really interesting and uh, worth noting, though, because there's a lot of people that stumble upon these these things. And sadly, the majority of them uh, that are not like very aware of what they have in their hands tend to go to collectors and just sell sell them and just get the money. And that's it. Right. But this guy claims to want to like. Support the discovery and help uh, find the claims that he has as true, but these are wild claims. I mean, he says that the rock has an interstellar civilization living in it. 
which is, I mean, we're talking about potentially science fiction here, like the quantum world. And, and that's what he claims. It's a big claim. Uh, but I don't know. What do you think about that? Uh, what he claims that he has in his hands? Well, that's <laughs> like you said, we're getting into like Ant-Man territory, right? Yeah. In the quantum world, enter the quantum world. Sorry. Um, I don't know, but cases like this, they, they fascinate me. This is part of what drew me into the whole UFO topic. And while the drone incursions are, are the big news right now, it's the mysterious stuff like this that really makes me stop in my tracks and say, wow, what, what is this? Yeah. You're talking about an actual like microscopic civilization on an interstellar rock. I mean, like you said, it, it's a science fiction plot. Yeah. You know what I mean? If this thing has its own contained atmosphere that they're living in, I I don't even know what to tell you other than, like you said, science fiction type stuff. And we can describe the other videos that we saw already because I know they're already on the internet. Uh, I know the English-speaking people is not aware of the case, but I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. What I want is for you to describe one of the videos you saw. The one that we are we're not going to show today, because you told me that you believe there was something like moving, like flying, in the whole environment. What did you see, and how would you describe it? Okay, and this is strictly from what I perceived watching this. So yeah, the video starts out, and it's obviously this interstellar object sitting there, and it's magnified. Not much. Then you begin to see some small spots moving on it. Which, okay, that, that's cool, but then it suddenly goes to what I perceive to be zoomed in on a microscope because the terrain completely changes. It looks like a really close-up view, and you see what, it sounds crazy to even say it, but it looks almost like a little tiny ship, like a little tiny spaceship moving across the surface of this object, and it's casting a shadow. And so Damn. if my understanding is correct, and that is a microscopic view... I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, I I really the one, don't. the other one I saw was like a little. It looked like a little worm, but it kept moving on its own. So it's worth noting that these tests are done in a vacuum. So technically, no life in this planet, no carbon-based life, is able to survive in a vacuum. It dies, and the fact that this stuff is moving inside a vacuum. That shouldn't be possible. And that's one of the questions that my wife had, because she was like, there are some times when you put the microscope in and depending on how many electrons you shoot at the, at the sample, it can get warmer and that can make some, create some reactions. So we need to cross that out. And the way we're going to try and do that is to talk to this man, Arcangel. We're going to try and talk to him. Uh, I think. It's not like dead set in stone yet, but I think by the end of the week, we're going to be able to talk to him. Uh, Toby is going to be with me uh, alongside Bill Forte from their show, uh, Marked by the Sky. And we're going to do a joint reporting on that. And we're going to try and get Arcangel to talk to us from the lab. And he's going to try and get permission to record uh, and try and get some real-time results. But Let's show the people what we saw, that video he gave us permission to show. We're going to show it a couple of times, the original one with Spanish. But then Arcangel sent us like a description of what we we're looking at. And I'm going to play that as well alongside the video. So you guys can check it out. Can you see that? Yep. All right. You ready, Toby? Let's go. This is the Spanish version. Here it goes. Ay, ¿qué le pasó? ¿Te decidirá todo qué? No, mira. Está transformando. Mira. ¿Qué hizo? Por otra vez a ver. ¿Qué es eso? <risa> se transformó. Se transformó, llegó algo y lo cubrió. No sé, va a ser. Mira, 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 ¿qué es eso? Quedó sí, 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 ahí está grabado, ahí está grabado. Algo lo protegió. ¿De dónde salió eso? 
¿Sí ves? Lo estaba cuadrando la imagen para que quedara mejor resolución y, y, y lo protegió. Pero igual tómate, ese no lo habías tomado, ¿no? No, no, porque estaba cuadrando pues lo que trata de que no me quedara tan con astigmatismo y todo. Entonces tú me lees al menos, ¿por qué? Dios mío, ¿cómo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Ah? Vete, le mermo, ¿de dónde sale eso? Quería ver eso, ya le iba a decir. Mira, mira, o sea, salió de acá y lo... Del el filamento. Del filamento, de aquí salió. Y lo, como que lo tapó. Ajá. Es más, miremos las imágenes. Ok, so... Let's play it again without volume. So we can analyze it between ourselves. These guys... So yeah, yeah, give us a little me. bit of context. Go ahead, give yeah, us some these context. These guys are, are saying that it transformed because at the beginning you see this little sphere and then it just changes like that. And I don't know if that's possible with that microscope, if that can be an effect of the microscope. There you can see the screen change uh, with the microscope. That happens when you change the um, resolution. But the first transformation, that's that's something that doesn't make sense to me that and just so people are are aware this is testing being done with this equipment at a university laboratory in Colombia, correct yeah so it's not just like this guy sitting around in his kitchen saying oh check no. this out that's uh, at the pereira university in Colombia, and that's where he's going to try and uh, get permission to to use the equipment which could presumably be this one that, that we're looking at right now so What do you think? Did you think it did transform? Because it, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. To me, it looks like it clearly changes shape. Yeah. Hmm. You um, know what it I'm... reminds me of? The, the, the squids that are like in the bottom of the ocean that like quickly change shapes and colors. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. I mean, it kind of seems like This could be a sequel to the movie The Thing. <laughs> Or We didn't find it in the Arctic permafrost. We found it in the. <laughs> oh man, don't don't say that. <laughs> I mean, because Interstellar, you're talking about this thing they think has a similar composition to Oumuamua, correct? Yeah. So that's. Yeah. I, I'm just saying you can let your mind run a little bit if you're talking about a micro civilization. Who knows? Yeah. Let's show the other one. So with the explanation so you guys can check it out let's see how arcangel explains it and then we'll talk about it afterwards All right respected doctors and esteemed audience here we can see a short video recorded in real time in an electron scanning microscopy lab at one of colombia's universities specifically in pereira you can observe the morphological change that this small sphere or apple undergoes from its initial appearance to its morphological transformation i want to make a small point about this topic emphasizing that it is not the electron beam causing the morphological change i invite the world's leading scientists and anyone interested to visually participate in this great beautiful and short video showing that neither the electron beam nor anything external is responsible for what we are demonstrating it's the life of the rock itself as we demonstrate with a magnifying glass or some high magnification tool we can zoom in on the video and show what's depicted when the little apple is white thousand then before transmuting or transforming reaches a bright white micrometer point when it reaches this white point it reveals the beings scientifically shown by the rock as stated by the renowned biologist involved in the Nazca mummies he is thrilled to be part of this great project these are luminous microscopic beings and when he arrives there the transformation occurs which we can observe with our own eyes in real time i hope to share many videos worldwide along with the major studies planned to be showcased globally thanks to the entire audience and those scientists worldwide who wish to participate in the great project the rock which can be found on pages like the interstellar rock. Okay. So it was pretty clear. What do you think? I, I mean, it, I, I respect the fact that he's offering it up for scientific analysis by anybody willing to travel there. That's, I mean, that's not usually something someone 
typically does when they know they're holding something that's fake. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm not saying the claims are true, but I'm saying, hey, let, let the guy present his evidence. Yep. If any scientist, biologist, specialist out there is interested, travels there and they see something that makes them say, hey, this this potentially could be a game changing discovery, then I'm all for it. These are the kind of mysteries that keep people like us going in this topic. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's and, my two cents. And, that, and that's, that's one of the main reasons why I decided to report on this, because the more eyes that are on the case, the faster it will be to check out, check if this is legit or not, in my opinion, because there's a lot of these stories that never see the light of day. And I think that needs to change a little bit uh, because I think that the public eye, especially with the internet, will suss out everything faster than if it happens in a vacuum and just between like a select group of people, you know? Um, that's what I think. I don't know. I, I agree. And that's part of, you know, being an investigative journalist is we seek the truth but we just put out the information we get and like you and I, we're never, we're not making the claim here that this, this thing is real. His claims are real. We're saying, look, here's the evidence. This is a story you guys probably wouldn't have heard about if we didn't put it out there. So you know what public take it, run with it, examine it, feel free to pick it apart. Feel free to tell us if you think it's legit. And I agree. We do, we do need more of that because there's so many cases we hear about behind closed doors that, we're not allowed to talk about, you know, and it's, it's frustrating because I agree with you, you know, yeah. probably 90 to 95% of the time, the general public could track down an answer for what we're actually looking at in these cases. Yeah. Instead of people just talking about, I can't show you, but trust me, it's real. And depending on the impact this video gets, I think we're already going to get a lot of that people who are specialists in these this type of microscoping. I do have a lot of questions and to like related to what other tests this rock has gone through, what other type of microscoping has it gone through. Um, this stuff about the laser being uh hotter when you point more electrons at it, uh, that is interesting to me because this could be very well be a reaction to that and not life as as this man claims although he did say that it's not that in this little clip that i showed you guys um but we're gonna try and make it happen i want to thank you toby for your time and let us know people what you think about this video you can replay it as much as you want i'm gonna post it later on on a few social media platforms so it can get a little more um traction and let's see what the people say uh, Toby, where can people find you so you can, uh, uh, so they can see your work? Uh, so to read my reporting, you can go to rdrnews.com. Um, I report on a lot of the topic for the Roswell Daily Record. You can find me on Twitter. I still call it Twitter. I don't call it X. <laughs> I don't know why. Me but too. My, my tag is marked by the sky. Um, obviously, you can reach me through Pavel, and we both are on KGRA. Digital Broadcasting, KGRADB.com. Um, feel free to check out my show there. And yeah, it, like he said in the comments, maybe somebody out there watching this has something similar or a crazy story to tell. Let us know. Yep. We're all for exactly. investigating the mysteries. Exactly. All right, Toby. Thank you for your time, man. And let's see how this goes. We're going to try and make it happen uh, by the end of the week. We're going to try and talk to this guy. Uh, but for now, we'll leave you with this uh, video. And let us know what you think in the comments. What do you think we're looking at? Uh, do you think his claims are too grandiose? Let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Right. Bye. Thank you, Toby. Take care. Thanks.